Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Saturday's ISO. It is Saturday, the 21st of September. I'm Natasha. This is Always Be Crafting. And on Saturdays, I sew. And I'm excited because, yes, I did some sewing today. And hopefully, I've already inserted that footage this morning. And now I am off on a sewing adventure. I'm very excited because today I am heading up to a town very nearby, like half hour away, a half hour drive. And I will be going to a, um, a talk back, I guess, an author's talk back with, are you ready for this? If you are in the um, quilt cotton community, then you will know this name, these names, Kay Facet and Brandon Mabley. I know, I'm so excited. I could not afford or I could not justify the expense of taking the classes with them, though I bet they are amazing. And I bet they are absolutely worth the worth how much they cost. I, I'm I'm sure they are worth the price. That being said, I could not justify spending that amount of money on taking a class on um, like making specific quilt blocks when the pre the majority of my time is not spent making quilt blocks. <laughs> like, let's face it, the majority of my time is spent making bags when I'm sewing, when I'm sewing. And I can't even say that I get to sew constantly. Yes, I've been doing a lot of sewing this month because work had not yet ramped up, but now work is back in session. So I've been sneaking in my little like hour and a half here and there of, of sewing time this week whenever I could. And this week I made not one, but two bags with um, K Facet Collective fabric. So I'll have to do a little like fashion show with you um, when I get there because I thought I can't go to a um, author talk back without wearing a K Facet Collective bag. And Natasha, didn't you already have bags made from K Facet Collective fabric? Well, yes, yes, I did. I have like, let's say three, maybe four bags already, but none of them were quite right. You know, I have like a duffel bag and I have another travel bag and I do have a purse, what I call my movie purse. I'll try to remember to insert a photo here of my movie purse. You know, the bag that you bring all your snacks to the movies in. But um, none of them were like what I wanted to wear when I go out shopping. So I made another Ferris bag. The Ferris bag by Sally Tomato is currently like my favorite bag to wear. I find it very comfortable to wear on my body and it holds just the right amount of stuff. You know, I'm not a mom of young kids. I'm a mom of old kids. <laughs> My kids are 19 and 16, so I don't have to carry around all the nonsense I used to have to carry around um, for my kids <clears throat> anymore. So I really just need the essentials like keys, phone, wallet, lip gloss, tissues, you know, like the basics in a purse. And um, I don't always have pockets. And even if when I do have pockets, I don't necessarily want things weighing down my pockets and making my clothes weirdly fit. So the Ferris bag is like the perfect, the perfect bag um, for me. I find it very, very comfortable and I think it's cute. So I've made myself, I guess this is the third one that I've made for myself to wear as a regular purse. I've made more than three, but this is the third one I've made for myself as a purse. So, um, and I made it out of, I think it's a Brandon Mabley print technically. So that's exciting. And then I made a, like a riff on the Mondo bag. <clears throat> so the Mondo bag is, a, um, it's a very popular in like quilt shops, a very popular 
quilt block bag where it's just a bunch of little squares and the design is like a twisted design and I've made bags like this like I remember making this style of bag back in 4-H like 35 years ago way back when I remember this style of bag being made um, my mom was our sewing leader in 4-H and I do remember this style of bag being made and um, then the Mondo bag came on the market I don't know a few years ago and it's been very popular and so I kind of just did a riff on the Mondo bag and I say specifically the Mondo bag because I used the Mondo bag dimensions um, for this um, and but I didn't use all the little blocks I just did four big panels for each section for the twist and I um, uh, the K facet collective um, is three designers K facet of course Brandon Mabley and Philip Jacobs and they are all fantastic and I have multiple prints from all three of them so I kind of just went into my stash and I just grabbed fabrics that I love like fabrics that I just I just love and I don't really think that anything doesn't work with anything else I think that's like the joy of the K facet collective fabrics is because they're so colorful and they're so whimsical and the designs it's it's you can have things that don't really go as well together that don't like speak to each other as nicely like that is possible of course um, but I, I tend to gravitate, maybe, to certain color palettes. So, generally speaking, most of my fabrics tend to go together because I just, I just naturally tend towards a certain palette. So, um, <clears throat> usually the only time I get fabric in my collection that's not in a specific palette, that's like the Natasha palette, is because things have come in like, say, a fat quarter bundle or um, a scrap pack or something like this. Uh, it's very rare that I get something outside of my, my chosen palette when it comes to fabrics. So uh, yeah, and I lined that bag with my new favorite bag lining on earth, which is a, um, what's it called? It is, I'm forgetting the term. It's not lined, it's, coated, coated cotton, poly coated cotton. Ooh, what's it called? It's like basically it's cotton fabric that has a layer of plastic on top, you know, fused to it already. And, um, so it's waterproof and food safe. So you can put all your snacks in there. And because of that extra layer of um, plastic, if you will, the vinyl right on top of the cotton fabric, it is like, it acts as an interfacing, but you know, on top of the fabric instead of underneath the fabric and, uh, stabilizes the fabric, making it more sturdy. So you don't have to add an additional level of interfacing underneath to add sturdiness or structure to the bag. So the only, uh, interfacing or structure or stabilizer that I added was I added fusible fleece to my four panels of exterior fabric that I then, you know, did some kind of crazy quilting lines on for funsies. And I added, you know, bag strapping, you know, like webbing for um, the bag straps. I did not make my own straps, because why? Who needs that time? Who needs that energy? I needed a quick bag. And then I threw a quick pocket in there. I have no idea if I'll ever use it. But now I have like a big bag that's waterproof on the inside, so I can even use it as a grocery bag fabulous is that but I wanted a big bag also in addition to my fa my Ferris Fanny bag today because as soon as the talk back the author talk back is done because the author talk back is like one hour long starts at 11 the current time is 10 30 I am about 12 minutes away <laughs> I'm so excited and oh I'm probably gonna be more than 12 minutes away because the GPS wanted me to take a shortcut over that way I don't like that shortcut. I know exactly where I am and exactly where I'm going, 
But um, the shortcut it wanted me to take is super windy, and I just, I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy for super windy. So I think I added one minute to my time. Totally worth it to not be on super windy roads. Um, anyways, yes, I'll be there now in 13 minutes. So I'll be there 15 minutes before. So that's enough time to find parking and find my seat, hopefully. I hope I didn't, I hope I gave myself enough time. Um, it should be fine. Anyways, um, yeah, after the author talk back, I'm taking myself on a little quilt shop shopping spree because it is still, it is September still, and September and October, I live in New England in the United States, and it is the New England shop hop, quilt shop hop. So um, there's like, I think 90, I think it's 90 quilt stores, fabric stores in the New England area are all participating in this shop hop. So you get to go into the stores and you present your book. Like, yeah, I have a the shop hop book, the shop hopper book, and I get it stamped when I go into the store. And sometimes there's like a little free prize with it, like a piece of candy or a little, um, like a block of fabric to add to a quilt sampler, if you will, whatever you want to do. And, um, it's just kind of fun to go around and check out new stores. I am going to go to a store that is not new to me. It's one of my favorite stores. That's not too far away from where the talk back is being held. I'm going to go to that store. And then according to the map, there's another quilt store I've never been to about, um, 45 minutes North of that store that I always go to. And I'm like, well, if I've already gone this far North, because I should say I'm traveling North currently. Um, so if I already traveled this far North, a half hour North of my home, what's another 45 minutes, right? So yeah, so that is the plan today to try to hit at least two quilt shops. And then I might also hit a Joanne's Fabrics because I need, I need more like interfacing and stuff. Cause like I said, I love making bags and when you make bags, you end up going through a lot of fusible fleece and, um, SF 101, um, and whatnot. So yeah, I need more interfacing. And right now Joanne's has all that stuff on sale. So I think I'm going to go get some of that. Oh, I should also point out this. I made this this morning. It is like basically a makeshift infinity scarf. It is, um, I made it all on machine. If I wanted to do it perfectly, I would have hand stitched the last, the last stitch. Hold on, I have to turn. Sharp turn. So had to really look for, for those oncoming cars. Um, yeah. So if I really wanted it to be like the cleanest, cleanest infinity scarf, I would have done like a ladder stitch on the final seam, but I really wanted it done quickly. It was a very last minute. All these fabrics are K Facet Collective, of course. Um, I'm just wearing all black today, and I kind of felt like, okay, I know I have K Facet Collective bags, which is fun, that I'll be bringing with me, but wouldn't it be nice if I was wearing something from the K Facet Collective? Um, and I had the intention earlier in the month to make a shirt um, for myself, and I had purchased fabric that I really like and I had washed and dried it and ironed it and prepped it but I had not had time to lay out the pattern cut or anything like it's not even cut out it's like the fabric is ready as far as it has been washed dried and pressed but it has not been the pattern has not been cut out so there was no way I was getting a shirt made this morning <laughs> like I am not that Superman but I could make an infinity scarf pretty quickly out of jelly roll strips and I decided it's a little puffy um, originally I was only going to use six strips and then um, I just decided I should use eight strips because the number eight is lucky and the number eight looks like an infinity sign and it's an infinity scarf I get them in my own head sometimes so now it's kind of puffy it's a little too thick but it's fine it's fine it's fine so, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm on my way. The leaves are turning red and gold and green because it is about
about to be autumn in New England. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful day. And um, after a very busy week, I mean a very busy week, like a very stressful, busy week here <laughs> at home, um, I, I don't want to complain. I'm just letting you know it's been a very stressful, very busy week. And uh, the roller coaster has been been written, if you will. I am ready for some self-care. And today that self-care involves getting to meet some of my very favorite fabric designers in the whole wide world. I'm so excited. And getting to look at some beautiful fabric and getting my shop hopper stamped and just everything. I'm just excited. All right. I will try to film as much as I can today. I don't know what I'll be able to film because I don't like filming people. Um, so I don't know what I'll get, but I'll try to get something. Have a great day. Hi, I'm back. I am parked in my car because um, I just finished at the K-Facet Brandon Mabley um, lecture and talk back and grabbing my book. This was the book we got, Quilting on an English, on an English Farm, and it's beautiful. And I think I just, yeah, I just got K-Facet's signature which I didn't realize while it was happening because of course I actually was speaking to Brandon Mabley, which was amazing. He was so nice. He complimented me. He told me that this bit here was good cut. He's like, Oh, that's very good colors for you. And I was like so flabbergasted and I showed him my purse. Can I show you my purse? I didn't show you my purse. I showed my purse, which has his fabric. This is his fabric. I showed him my purse. I didn't even realize he wasn't signing my book. okay. It's okay. I got to speak to him. He was delightful and he complimented me. He said he loved the sparkle. Isn't that so nice? That's just such a nice compliment. So anyways, um, I looked up on the directions. Here's my, my New England shop hop. Um, so the quilt store that hosted this event is, um, they have like a pop-up happening right now in the theater but it's all of their fabric. So the quilt store is still open and I think I'm gonna go to the quilt shop because it's gonna be a lot quieter because it's chaos in there. Because of course everyone's excited to be there. Um, so I'm gonna go to the quilt shop itself so I can get my book um, tagged because I haven't had it tagged yet. And I'll look around at some other fabric. I don't know what other fabric I'll look at, but let's face it, I love lots of fabric, not just the K-Facet Collective fabric. And I will go to the Joanne Fabrics and get my um, interfacings and stabilizers that I need. And then maybe if I have time, I'll go to one more store. The store I thought was only 45 minutes north is actually an hour north um, or an hour and 15 north of that store. So that store from where I am now is like 15 minutes from where I am now. And then the other store, which I thought was only like another 45 minutes from there is actually like another hour and 15 from there. It's like an hour and a half from where I am now. It's too much. Cause I'll be like that store in my house, will be over a two hour drive to come home. And I got things to do. I got things to do. So, um, I got people coming over later. Like people are supposed to be at my house in like three hours. I can't do that driving. I just can't. So I'm going to go to quilt shop, get my book stamped, go to Joanne's, get extra fabric, and then that might be it. Then I might just go home and have my friends over, which is a lovely day. But that's still a pretty good day. So that's it. I'm on my way to shop. Bye. Hi there. It is Sunday morning. You are perched on top of boxes precariously in our home theater hence the DVDs and uh, decor. I just wanted to quickly show you what I got yesterday. So first I will show you the bag I made, the second bag with the K-Facet Collective Fabric. 
So again, it is based on the Mondo bag dimensions. It's a big, nice, big shopping tote. And in it, I have, well, the bag I used as my purse, my Ferris. Love that. I, I picked up more of the pink zip, the Tula pink zipper tape. I didn't have the white tape. I picked up Diddy Bags 2.0, which is a Biani pattern that I didn't have. Shocking, I know. I picked up, um, oh, I got, because I got my book stamped, I got from the fabric store, Cotton Candy Fabrics, their little thing for when you do your shop hop. Here's my shop hop thing. So everybody, when you go into shop hop, every store has their own little patch. So if you're making like a quilt block sampler or something from all the quilt stores, you can make your own thing. This is a shop hop magazine. So it's been stamped. I got two yards of fabric. This is Alexander Henry fabric, which is out of print now. Um, it is, I think it's beautiful. It's part of the ghastly line, but it's with the angry, the angry knitter. Where is she? She is at the bottom. I think she's hilarious. Can you see her? <laughs> and I love this backing, this fabric that she's kind of on top of. I think that's going to make a really cute knitting bag. And they had two yards left on the bolt. So I just finished the bolt, took the whole two yards. I did pick up interfacing at Joanne Fabrics, but I did not bring that up to show you because it's just interfacing. Um, because Cotton Candy Fabrics had hosted the lecture and talk back, if you went to the store, you got a free little pouch with K-Facet. It's like a quilt, K-Facet collective quilt printed onto it. It's that like recycled plasticky fabric. So that was a fun little free pouch. This was the book. I think I showed this yesterday. Quilts on an English farm that K-Facet signed. I got D-Ring. So when I picked up my Tula Pink hardware last time, they didn't have any D-Rings. So I got them in every size. I got them in half inch, one inch, one and a half, three quarter inch. Wait, one and a half, one inch, three quarter inch, and half inch. So I got all the sizes of the D-Rings in pink because you just don't know what you're gonna use, what you're going to need. I picked up a fat quarter bundle, these cute little like Yetis, can you see them right there? And um, like jackalopes, can I find a jackalope in here? It's this really cute fabric by, um, who does that, Whimsy and Lore, fat, um, fat quarter bundle. I had a, what's it called, the, oh, there's a little jackalope in there, you see them? Um, I had the, the five inch squares, charm pack of this fabric and I really liked it and I wanted to do something bigger with it. So I was gonna pick up yardage and then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna pick up the fat quarters because whatever I don't use with fat quarters will go into something else. Cause it's really, the plaids are neutral enough. They can go into something on their own. And um, I just really like the fabric. I like all the patterns. And then last thing I picked up one fat quarter of Batman because I'm in the middle of making a Batman quilt. And I thought, you know what? I might need just a little bit more Batman. And there was one fat quarter of it. And I said, it's a sign. It was meant to be. That's everything. That's everything I picked up yesterday. I'm very happy with my shopping. I'm very happy with my um, bags. Got a lot of compliments on my shopping tote. And when I showed it off to my girlfriends last night at happy hour, um, all of them were like, and why haven't you made that bag for craft fairs? That one would sell like hotcakes. And everyone loved that I had put the waterproof lining on the inside, making it like the perfect grocery tote. So now I have to make a bunch more of these. Awesome. I have to go to work. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, tell your friends. You know the whole drill. But thank you for being here. Just thank you. Just thank you. Just thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.